The Second World War broke out in 1939 when I was 8 years old. For reasons I have never been able to understand, a sudden demand for tamarind seeds erupted in the market. I used it to collect the seeds and sell them to a provision shop on Mosque Street. A day's collection would fetch me the princely sum of one Anna. Jalaluddin would tell me stories about the war which I would later attempt to trace in the headlines in Dinamani. Our area being isolated was completely unaffected by the war. But soon India was forced to join the Allied forces and something like a state of emergency was declared. The first casualties came in the form of the suspension of the train halt at Rameshwaram station. The newspapers now had to be bundled and thrown out from the moving train on the Rameshwaram road between Rameshwaram and Dhanushkodi. That forces Samsudin to look for a helping hand to catch the bundles and, as if naturally, I filled the slot. Samsudin helped me earn my first wages. Half a century later, I can still feel the surge of pride in earning my own money for the first time. Every child is born with some inherited characteristics into a specific socio-economic and emotional environment and trained in certain ways by figure of authority. I inherited honesty and self-discipline from my father, from my mother. I inherited faith in goodness and deep kindness and so did my three brothers and sister. But it was the time I spent with Jalaluddin and Samsuddin that perhaps contributed most to the uniqueness of my childhood and made all the difference in my later life. The school wisdom of Jalaluddin and Samsuddin was so intuitive and responsive to non-verbal messages that I can unhesitatingly attribute my subsequently manifested creativity to their company in my childhood. I had three close friends in my childhood, Ramanadha Sastri, Aravindan and Shiva Prakashan. All these boys were from orthodox Hindu Brahmin families. As children, none of us ever felt any difference amongst ourselves because of our religious differences and upbringing. In fact, Ramanadha Sastri was the son of Pakshi Lakshmana Sastri, the high priest of the Rameshwaram temple. Later, he took over the priesthood of the Rameshwaram temple from his father. Aravindan went into the business of arranging transport for visiting pilgrims, and Shiva Prakashan became a catering contractor for the Southern Railways. During the annual Sri Sita Rama Kalyanam ceremony, our family used to arrange boats with a special platform for carrying idols of the Lord from the temple to the marriage site, situated in the middle of the pond called Rama Tirtha, which was near our house. Events from the Ramayana and from the life of the prophet were the bedtime stories my mother and grandmother would tell the children in our family.